Okay, so we took the bus for a service. We knew we needed to, just brought it back, and we had a few adventures on the way. Booked it into a big service centre at West Gosford. Guys, they are really good. We got out in the morning early to take the bus in for service, and it wouldn't start. So the first thing we had to do was get the service guys to send down someone to jump start us. Well, we got the thing in. They spent two days with the vehicle and gave it a really good report. Service manager loved it. Said it was in really good condition. It's all serviced up. Good to go. Fantastic. Problem is, as we left, Judy's following me in the other car and she is calling me up to say there's all this white smoke coming out the back. And I answer the phone. I'm trying to drive the bus and the phone's sitting beside me. I managed to click the button and pulled over very suddenly. And well, let me put it to you like this. The mirror on these buses on the left hand side are very clever. They've got this extra magnification with things maybe close and they appear at the bottom, shows you what's going on down the bottom of the bus. That shows you up the top. That's a really good design. Our mirror's got a little fault. As I swung into the footpath, I didn't actually realise I was as close to the power pole as I was, and uh, well, that mirror used to look like the other one until that moment. 70 bucks later, we've now got a new mirror, which I've got to put up. The other thing is, though, when I tried to restart it in the yard, it was dead again. What I didn't realise is, this has got a kill switch that someone's cleverly wired in with a solenoid so there's no leakage on the starter battery, very smart, and you also would trick a would-be thief. So now I know where that is, I can turn it off when we're not going anywhere and turn it back on when I want to go somewhere. Lesson learned. The only thing we found out is that because we're 12.4 metres long, 40 feet in the old scale, we have to have these critters. And so now I've got two of those to screw on the back to tell people not to try and cut down the inside on a tight roundabout and become a badge on the side of the vehicle. So that was our service adventure. We're ready for the next adventure.